coming in with the strategy that I'm just better than these guys at tournaments. And even if they think they understand this game like better than me, I'm going to catch on fast. There aren't many names in poker today bigger than Bryn Kenny. As of 2024, he's ranked number one on the all-time money list with a staggering $65 million plus in tournament winnings. But back in 2022, he was involved in one of the biggest cheating scandals since Black Friday. So what happened? You got to go see the shaman. She looks at me, she goes, I was the warlord's wife. I'm a killer. I'm a thief. I'm a liar. All these other bad things she goes, but I tell you these things straight to your face. We'll get into all of it, but before we do, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified whenever Poker Boom releases a new video. We release every single Monday at 10 a.m. PST, and we appreciate you being here. All right, here we go. In the labyrinth of Poker's Elite, one name reverberates with both triumph and with controversy and that's Bryn Kenny. A maestro of the felt, his journey through the tumultuous world of high stakes poker reads like a modern epic. From his ho-hum beginnings to staggering victories and a massive scandal, Kenny's journey transcends the confines of a mere game. Born in Long Beach, New York in 1986, Bryn Kenny was raised in a house where poker wasn't exactly a family pastime. His start in competitive card games actually began with Magic the Gathering before he shifted gears to master the poker world. Kenny's introduction to poker reportedly came during his teenage years. Initially drawn to the game by its strategic depth and its competitive allure, he quickly realized his innate talent for it. What began as a leisurely pursuit soon transformed into an all-consuming passion. As he honed his skills in the underground circuit, Kenny discovered an insatiable hunger for success, a drive that would propel him to the upper echelons of the poker elite. Kenny's ascent to prominence in the poker world was marked by a series of awe-inspiring victories, each one showcasing his unparalleled skill and his steely resolve. His breakout moment arrived in 2007 at the East Coast Poker Championships in Verona, marking the start of an extremely lucrative career. But it was at the 2010 World Series of Poker where he recorded his first major cash in the $25,000 No Limit Hold'em six-handed event, finishing eighth for over $140,000. Four years later, in 2014, Kenny clinched his first WSOP bracelet by triumphing in the $1,500 10-game mix six-handed event. I would credit that bet to give me the jump start to where I am now, so. This victory propelled him into the upper echelons of the poker world, a status he only solidified with subsequent wins and remarkable finishes, such as outdueling Joe McKeon at the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure in 2016. His skills continued to shine through in events like the Aria High Roller 27 and the Triton Poker Super High Rollers, where he consistently landed significant cash prizes. His remarkable performance in the Triton Million for Charity event in 2019 cemented his legacy, earning him the largest single payout in live poker tournament history, over $20 million. Kenny's dominance persisted into the 2020s with victories like the Luxon Invitational at the Triton Poker Super High Roller Series in London. And as we mentioned earlier, as of 2024, he holds the top spot on the Hendon Mob all-time money list with his winnings eclipsing $65 million. However, Kenny's meteoric rise was marred by a scandal of Shakespearean proportions, one that threatened to unravel his legacy and tarnish his reputation irreparably. In 2022, allegations surfaced accusing him of utilizing real-time assistance during high-stakes cash games, a damning revelation that sent shockwaves through the poker community. As accusations flew and whispers of deceit grew louder, Kenny found himself thrust into the eye of the storm, his once impeccable image tarnished by controversy. It was at this time that Martin Zamani, associated with Bryn Kenny's circle, took to the Doug Polk podcast to elaborate on some claims revolving around Kenny. Because like Bryn knew he was cheating. It wasn't like um, a secret. Like. I don't know how to In a surreal interview, Zamani delved into accusations while vaping and consuming a ton of mushrooms and discussing bizarre rituals involving frog poison and eye acid. Makes you like violently yourself and throw up and like your face swells up like a frog. It's disgusting. It was in this interview that Zamani brought up the notion of stables in poker. Now for the uninitiated, a stable in poker refers to a group of players financially backed by a sponsor such as Kenny. Do, do what's best for Bryn's team as a whole, you know, like- So basically make Bryn the most money as a unit. 
Yeah. It's what you thought that it meant. That's for sure what it meant. Allegations suggest that Kenny's stable operating on GG Poker breached terms of service and engaged in unethical practices. This included sharing hole cards during high stakes tournaments, colluding against less experienced players, and employing banned RTA or real time assistance software. The gravity of these allegations extends to players like Lauren Roberts, previously associated with Kenny. And like demanding us always play the games when this account is in the games because it's like a big fish while he's also like throwing parties at her house and pretending to be buddy buddy. In a tweet about the situations, Robert said, I've been in finance slash poker a long time. I'm not stupid. That's how I knew he played my account, besides coaching me while I played, because one day he told me I won a tournament and magically our number went down. But I also witnessed ghosting, collusion with other accounts too. Lauren told you? Yes. Holy sh Wow. So he was multi-accounting on Lauren's account while screwing over Lauren in these games, according, according to what you're saying. These claims suggest a disconcerting prevalence of computer-assisted play in high-stakes online poker, blurring the line between human competition and technological advantage. Now, Kenny attempted to address these accusations in a live interview with Sarah Herring of Poker News, but his response was met with skepticism and rejection from the community. That's always been the most important thing to me by far, is my word and operating in the cleanest way possible because you know, it's, it's something that's so important to me. The fallout from this scandal underscores broader concerns within the poker world regarding integrity and fair play. Beyond the realm of cheating allegations, Zamani's revelations veer into the surreal, involving instructions from Kenny to partake in shamanic rituals involving frog poison and eye acid. And while bizarre, these claims add a surreal twist to an already tumultuous narrative. Even after a second interview with Joey Ingram, there were still many questions left unanswered around if Kenny did indeed cheat, and we might never fully know the answer. In the face of adversity, Kenny refused to capitulate, mounting a spirited defense to vindicate his name and salvage his reputation. With unwavering resolve, he spoke up to try and prove his innocence and refute the damning allegations against him. And at the end of it, Kenny emerged from the scandal relatively unscathed, and his integrity largely intact. And though the scars of the scandal may linger, they have largely been forgotten just a mere two years later. Today, Bryn Kenny is still a massive star in the poker world, a massively successful poker player who has left a legacy most players could only dream of. But the truth is out there, and there are definitely players who know the truth. And to attribute a line straight from tight poker, the proof is in the private messages, witness accounts, screenshots, and the attestations of reputable members of the poker community. And until more players are willing to stand up and speak out, the culture will not change. And that's all we have for this one. Thank you for checking out Poker Boom. And if there's a poker scandal or poker story you want to see a video about, please let us know in the comments. And if we pick it, we'll call you out in the next video. See you in the next one.